Up first this evening, the former Minister of National Security Robert Montague today sought to clarify a TVJ News report about his role in granting a firearm license to a man who was deemed to be of questionable character. Mr. Montague called a press briefing today in which he told journalists he did nothing wrong and added that his action was part of a national security investigation which bore results. He also disclosed that the man in question was an informant who provided information which led to some of the recent dismissals and revocations of licenses issued by the Firearm Licensing Authority. TVJ's Dashon Hendricks reports. Now, the Ministry of Transport, but Robert Montague, called a hastily convened press briefing to respond to TVJ's exclusive story on a Thursday evening about his action while he was security minister. That specific action was to, on appeal, granting a man of a questionable character a firearm permit after it was initially turned down by the Firearm Licensing Board and the FLA Review Board. On Friday, he was strident in his response. Quite frankly... I strongly reject any suggestion of impropriety. And he set about to, in his words, share facts to allay concerns surrounding the decision, one which he said was not taken alone, though the Firearms Act gives him, as the then minister, the final determination as to permits for firearms. Instead, he said he made the decision about this particular case and others with a committee of six very senior persons within the national security framework. All decisions granted to to give permits after the appeals was heard had to be unanimous. Through that process, he said 209 cases of firearm licenses being refused or revoked were reviewed and 29 licenses were granted. He said the man of a questionable character in our story on Thursday had a firearm license which was issued during the PNP administration, but it was subsequently revoked after two unsigned letters with troubling allegations were brought to the attention of the FLA, but those allegations were knocked back and the persons bringing them found to having ulterior motives. The appeal was then referred to Mr. Montague for him to look at the process, after which it was then brought to the committee. Mr. Montague said that the man had already passed the fit and proper assessment, and so the committee had no basis on which to deny the license. The person in question is from the constituency of Western St. Mary that I represent. He said that fact had no bearing on the decision before adding later that the man won the appeal on his own strength, but he wanted to provide that detail instead of having rumors running rampant. Another detail he pointed to was that the man in question was charged for lottery scamming, but the charge was thrown out by the court because no evidence was provided. Subsequently, the police officer who had charged the person in question was alleged to be corrupt and was separated from the police force. Then, from facing the court, the person in question became a national security asset, in effect, an informant. The information provided by him regarding the FLA unearthed scandalous issues which were associated with the entity. Proof of these issues were provided by him, and actions have been taken, including FLA personnel being fired and, and or arrested, along with licenses of Jamaicans being revoked. He said the man in question was since threatened and has fled the country and his gun license has been revoked. Dashan Hendricks, TVJ News.